See, this is the thing. I would definitely do my neck. I don't know about my face. I'm honestly planning to get a lot of tattoos, which is why I thought it was really cool I was doing this, because I think it would be funny to look back at this and be like, wow, remember when you were such a baby and didn't have that many? Because I'm planning on getting a lot. First one I got was almost a year ago, maybe less than a year ago. And I've always wanted tattoos really bad, but I wanted to wait because I didn't want to get tattoos like everyone else had them. I wanted to feel really specific and, and sure about them. This is three life affirmations. I'm Lebanese, so my dad wrote them out for me in Arabic. One says, I'm a child of the universe and I'm infinitely creative. The other one says, I will live to bring understanding and beauty to the world. And the third, I will not live in the past or the future, but I will always stay present. My mom, she was always cool with me getting tattoos. My dad never wanted me to get any tattoos. So that's kind of why I got this first one too, because I was like, hey, I'll get my first one. You can write it out, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, it's a lost cause. I got this one second, the mission patch for the trip that NASA's on. I'm a massive, 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 massive space fan. When I was on tour, they took us to NASA and it was like a kid at a candy store. It was like so incredible. And they actually let me on the floor in the mission control room. They've only let me and Garth Brooks ever like touch the floor in that room. And apparently NASA told the guys in space that I got it tattooed and they were like stoked. They were like gonna play Cosmic, first album played in space or something. The third one I got, I wanna say was the arrows. And truthfully, these don't really have any purpose. I just thought they look cool. Everyone gets tattoos because they look cool. This is the first tattoo that I got when I was in LA. After coming home from tour, the first tattoo, which is kind of good for LA because it's like a meaningless place, meaningless tattoo. I got simple right here in my arm. Simple is literally the key to everything I do. I always go back to simplicity. I always try and take layers off stuff. Like a melody that's incredible can sit by itself on an acoustic guitar. I'm obsessed with symmetry in my music. I like the balance of everything to be perfect and to feel like they're just moving alongside each other, you know what I'm saying, at a perfect speed and tempo. And I wanted to do the same with the tattoos too. That's why everything is pretty concise, little moving piece. This was actually the first time I didn't come up with a tattoo idea. I met this tattoo artist named Balaz, one of the most talented artists transcending any career path I've ever met. I just like trusted him because he was so incredible. And he's like, all right, give me a sec. And he like puts this whole piece together and just shows it to me. And I'm like, oh my God, it's amazing. At the time, I didn't know much about Leonardo da Vinci, who drew the Vitruvian Man, which is on my arm. He was centuries ahead of his time with his ideas and his ideologies. What's behind it, actually, this isn't in the original Vitruvian Man. Balaz added that because he's a genius. It's just a palm with Mercury on it, Apollo and Jupiter. It's kind of faded in the back on this hand, which the Vitruvian Man is sitting inside. He tattooed this, and this took 12, 13, 14 hours. And I was so addicted, I was like, bro, you need to get me one more. And the same day, I got this one on my hand right here. And this one says, I will love you forever, my dear, down on my wedding finger. And then what's mine is yours across it. And I just thought it's really cool that, you know, one day I'll marry someone and, you know, put a ring on the, I will love you forever, my dear, finger. Or maybe I'll die alone, and this finger will always stay here, so. <laughs> I like, all my tattoos to be like, if I lived in 400 BC, I could have these as like a tribal warrior. Like, that's how I like to think. I like stuff that could kind of transcend time in a way, I guess. This right here is the sun and then it's the moon. And it's basically coming from two different worlds, right? So this is like the roots of my existence, these three lines in Arabic, the roots of who I am and who I try and live by. And then the moon is like the nighttime of me, which is the music and the magic and the creative. They meet in the middle for the yin and the yang, you know what I'm saying? And I think everything in life is kind of that balance of sun and moon, light, darkness, happy, sad. I got this one when I was in Bali doing charity work and there's this really cool tattoo artist that I knew about. The lines are wavy and instead of notes, there's butterflies and there's stars. Because music to me isn't structural, I've never been the most technical musician, but I use it as a form to be creative. It's just like when I paint or do anything, like I'm not gonna draw the realest picture of a face you've ever seen, but I'm gonna put past and I'm gonna put intensity into it. And you're gonna feel that every time. So I got that to represent, you know, music to me, it's free. I may not be able to read and know all the notes, but I'll put magic into it every time. GQ, what is good? Thank you for having me. Thanks for checking out all my tattoos. Next time you see me, I'm gonna have a lot more. So remember this baby on.